What's going on guys? Welcome back. FM Gamer here and today we are back with a new series. I haven't uploaded in a while but it's time to get back because people have requested this series to come back with my local team around that I've got. Uh, yeah, uh, some of the team players have requested that, that I have started again and I have done. Now I've put in most of the players that are in the club so now I have everyone and the right positions and all of that uh, so yeah um, we are Rana Afko and we'll take a look at how the preseason has gone um, we played two qualifying matches to get into the Norwegian Cup versus Erland we won 3-1 that one and then we won against uh, Linian Karnes 3-2 and then we played a lot of friendlies, which has gone uh, really well. And yeah, we're ready to take on Egesund in the cup, first round of the cup. Um, they're a really good team in the second division. Uh, we can also take a look at our second team because they have played games and they are tearing the fourth division apart with nine wins from nine games. Absolutely astonishing. We have lots of talents in our youth uh, system and we will use them in the first team uh, later on uh, but maybe not today maybe not today so we're gonna go through the first team because that's also something they've requested that I go uh, more into the depth of some players and I am gonna do that today so we're gonna take our best team I would say I would say this is our best team so we'll start with goalkeeper um, 15 year old Adam Hawkinson uh, really big talent uh, he's really good young uh, have some good stats uh, and yeah has good potential some good stats on one-on-ones reflexes uh, good determination yeah really good player um, no negatives about him really um, apart from that he's very warm footed uh, he's currently at the league level as a 15 year old that's uh, astonishing and he could improve a lot he will probably reach uh, league 7 level uh, yeah um, that's him so we'll go on to right back where I have put Sivert Kroksadan controversial we could have many others there and we could have changed around the squad but I've gone with Seward Krugstam um, decent physicals decent mentals alright technicals um, well in real life I wouldn't have given him these physicals because he's running too little and his stamina isn't that high in real life um, he's just been injured so can't really do much about it the technicals should be better uh, like crossing should be should be higher uh, and yeah um, yeah let's take on the left back Sundsvog uh, also really good physicals good technicals and good mentals but these physicals shouldn't be there either because he's not in form he's currently working on it uh, yeah he's a good player for us and he will be a good left back and then we have our centre backs Arve Hörknes, really good centre back, really good in the defensive areas, good passing as well. He's he c it could be a more offensive player as well because, yeah, he has really good um, technicals. Uh, first touch is good, finishing is good, good, dribbling is good, crossing is good, and corners is good. It's good mentals as well and good physicals. Uh, yeah, he's looking really good. And then we have Ola Hörknes, um, our Viking. Uh, really good or decent uh, technicals good for the defensive areas really good mentals as well and good physicals he's really strong um, who do we have next we have the midfielders next uh, starting off with young Christian Grenne 16 year old really good uh, good mentals decent physicals and decent technicals he's played really well in the preseason and hopefully he will keep that going then we have his partner Storm Fagertun, 18 year old, um, decent technicals, good mentals, good physicality. We can't really say anything about these two, they're spot on on FM. Uh, Nurtama, underrated in FM, should be better, should have better technicals, should have 
better physicals. I don't know about the mentals because that's more personal. But yeah, uh, the physicals should be higher. Um, yeah, and definitely the technicals. He has really good finishing, really good long shots as well. Um, and then we have Frederik Risse, probably our best winger. Uh, really good dribbling, good finishing. Yeah, what you can ask for when you're playing as an inverted winger, as I do. And then we have our best player, Kim Andre Roda. He, he's always the best player and he always will be. He's really good technicals, really good mentals, really good physicals. He's way too good for this division. Stands that he's a good player for most third division sides, but he's even better than that. Um, and yeah, the fans love him, of course. Um, and then we have Anton Orang. Yeah, he's, he's a beast. 17 year old. Fantastic technicals for for playing a false nine, but we're not gonna play him as that. We're gonna play him as a poacher. Um, if we play him as striker, we're gonna use him as a poacher. And he's decent physicals, but he isn't strong enough to be a striker, and he isn't tall enough at all. Uh, but he's good mentals, and he's a really good player in real life. Um, yeah, this is going to be the bench. Um, not going to introduce too much of that we're gonna go through players as the series go but for now that's it and yeah as we can see we have got injuries on our center back so I'm gonna bring on Joran Fosmo for this one and who are we gonna bring on on the bench uh, I'm, I'm thinking about this guy because he's been been performing really well apart from that that's probably it yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for this match, and hopefully, we can uh, get through to the next round of the cup if we're lucky. Um, yeah, let's go. The pressure is on them because they are the better sides, and I'll bet in all of my boys. Oh, uh, I forgot to go through the tactics. Well, yeah, we play a four, a four, two, three, one, but when we're going forward, it can be more like a. Four one five, uh, like a Bulldog Glimp is playing at the moment. Uh, these ones will run forward towards flanks, and these one will run in towards like strikers, and then we'll have a Roder lying deep. Uh, so it will be like a four one with Roder as the deep, and uh, Riese, Nordang, and Nordam as the strikers, and Gröning and Fagertun on the flanks with of course the full backs coming really high up in the pitch so when we're going we're going hard and we're gonna try to dominate them as we can see we're gonna try to use the flanks as much as possible playing out as a def defense and going on the overlaps we're going to try to hit hurly crosses because that's where Anton has a chance he isn't high tall enough to be crossed on on overlaps so therefore we need to cross it early we're playing for set pieces because we have a beast Alve uh, Hurtness and also Håkon Nerdal on the bench, good uh, head players. Um, we're gonna play fairly wide when we're attacking because we're gonna use those flanks as much as possible. We're counter pressing all over and we are of course counter attacking when we won the ball and we're starting quickly, no wasting of time there. And we're when we're laying defensive we're gonna let them use the flanks we're gonna lay small and play our game let them play around if they want to and then try to win it back we're also playing with a high laying offside trap because we have defenders good enough to do it um, as long as they're communi communicating well uh, yeah and we're pressing really hardly so yeah let's go on out there and show them who we are Fix these. I haven't done that yet. All right, let's go. We're on the way. Egerson playing around the ball. Our high pressure is working all right, but now they play out on the flank towards Farah, and that's the opening highlights ended. And here is Sivert Krogsam. He finds Theresa in the middle. He finds Fosmo. Finds Gröning, Rode, out towards the flank, there's Sivit Krogstown on the run, he's all alone, and he finds the cross, and Risa heads it over. And as we see, that's what we want to do, we want to use the flanks as much as possible with the fullbacks, 
second header, you have a corner, Markovic, watch the back post, and it's a good header, but it goes over, luckily for us. Yeah, no chill has picked up a knock. But I'm not going to bring on Nedal yet. So far, not too much happening. Uh, yeah, we're always pressing, he's getting too much. He's creating too dangerous at the moment, so I will ignore that one. There is Risa. Finds uh, Sabre Crookstone. To Foss Mo to Christian Gdanek. Finds it all the out towards Crookstone. And he loses the ball. Can he win it back? He has the yellows. I don't want him to rush into the tackles. Because we don't want a red card this early in the game. Trying to build up something here, and they have to play long because our pressure is on point. Oliver Hoekness takes it down. Sibir Krugstan brings on the, the ball, finds Risa to Christian Grenning. Really nice play here. Stone Frogger doing finds Christian Grenning, and he's fouled. That's a pen. And of course, Kim Andre Rode is going to take it. We can go up in the lead here versus Egson, and that will be big because they are a much bigger team than us. And he slots it in down in the left hand corner. And it's 1 0. -nil. 1 0. -nil. Right before half time, and hopefully we can bring it in towards half time. I guess in the second half, we're going to bring off Risa, and we're going to bring on youngster Bullini, but I have to find out who I'm going to play there. I think I'm going to bring up Gruning and bring on Dennis Bolini because he's been really good for the 4th division side so he really deserves an effort in the cup. Let's see what he can do. Well not too much happening here in this second half. Bring on Martin Dionmir and I'll put Hoekness on the right back. Here's Oliver Hoekness, he finds Dennis Bully. Oliver Hoekness. Jeroen Fosmo. It's a bad pass from Jeroen Fosmo. Takes it down, plays it short. Dionmir up towards him as well. Great ball. Early cross into Bullin. Well, that could have been a change. And now we're also gonna bring on Hokum Nerdal for Anton Morang is not been good enough. So we have to bring on someone that can win these duels. Long ball from them. We win it back. Grenning finds it all that through ball towards Nerdal and he's Puts it wide. No. That could have been 2 0 and we could have won the game. But we didn't. And now it's still alive. We have a free kick here for Small. He uses the time he can. Hoekness to for Small. Bullin. Long ball to towards Nortomer. Fogatun tries to shot and he scored. And it's 2 0. And we're through to the second round of the cup. Unbelievable. This is big. This is really big. Good pass from Dennis Bolin. Bad defending, but amazing strike from Stone Fogatoon. And it's 2 0. We're gonna. Oh, we have even more changes. Uh, yeah. Let's bring off. Let's bring off. Andre Roda and Stone Fogger too. Let's do all the changes we can just to seal that timeout. And that's going to be it. 2 0 full time. Um, and we've just got a great first victory in the series to start off and go through to the second round of the Cup. Big result as well. Giving some praise to. Giving some praise to Adam Hawkinson. Don't want to sell Grunning. I don't want to sell him. Who is he wanted by? Oh my god, all the big clubs. Don't want to sell him. Ok, 
Okay, when is the second round draw? It's in two days, so we'll see it forward two days just to check who we get and see if we will play it or not. Because if it's not a big game, I think we should win. I think I'm definitely not going to play it on cam. But if it's a difficult game, I will play it on cam probably tomorrow. Um, I will probably record it today, but it will probably be posted tomorrow. Uh, yeah, he's the youngest ever player to play in the third division. It's taking too long time. Trying to progress for the two days shouldn't take as long. But I guess it's games in the first round. So Good game, first first game versus Egerton. They're a division of us, and we absolutely outplay them. They weren't close to us, so yeah, really happy with that result. Well, I guess this is taking a way too long time. There we go. There are all those games finished. No, it's not too far until the draw. Here we go. Uh, we'll draw it like this. A bit fast. Not using too much time. And we've pulled Junker. Uh I think actually we should win that one. But yeah, that's definitely not sure. So I will think about it because this season is really short because it's only half season. So maybe I will do it. Uh, we'll. I'll have to see. Uh, I'll consider it. Either you see me for that second cup game, or you'll see me for the first uh, league round versus Finsnes at Sadbuck M. Well, yeah, that's going to be it for this first episode. So if you've liked this episode, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you already haven't, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, stay safe.